Hello lovely people, welcome to my kitchen. It's a little bit small and shit in here so I apologise for that. Also, this is the highest I could get the camera and if I actually stand up, uh, this is, it's all chin baby, it's all chin. So I'm just going, if I want to talk to you I'm just going to have to do this, but it's fine because you'll mostly be looking at my hands today because I am in the mood to do some baking. Well, it's not baking. There's no heat involved, we're not baking anything, we're not cooking anything, I'm rubbish at those. Um, shall I go? Alright, getting okay at cooking, baking still terrible. I'm going to make some peppermint creams, because they're one of my favourite things to make because they're gosh darn delicious, they're also amazingly easy, and like I say, they don't involve any fire or anything. I've been making these since I was a little kid, because they're super safe and fun and easy to do, so I thought I'd just share it with you, because why not? Because why not? This is probably when it'll all go wrong and they'll be absolutely terrible. Step one is have a delicious drink ready for while you while you're baking. There's literally there's literally three ingredients in this, right? You can measure very carefully if you want to. I'm not gonna because I've done this a million times and it's just like three ingredients is no, it's fine. Um, icing sugar. Ice, delicious icing sugar. These are, okay, here's another disclaimer. So not actually baking. Well, first disclaimer, it's still me, so I could still do it all wrong and it could go terribly, so there's that. These are very, very <laughs> unhealthy and super sweet. You can't really have more than one, maybe two at a time, which you probably shouldn't either, because it is mostly just icing sugar. So bear that in mind. Next, you're gonna need egg whites, which I have, I, I've never used just egg whites in a carton before, um, or just an egg, like one egg white will do like at least like 20 peppermint creams, so you don't need much. Turns out there's a big dispute between farmers and uh, supermarkets going on right now, so eggs are really hard to get hold of. I didn't realise, but whatever, I've got some egg whites, so it's fine. Your third ingredient, this is gonna be so weird, me being like hunched over for this whole thing, my posture is gonna be appalling afterwards. Here, let's try doing this, I'll squat instead. Oh my God, let's see how long my thighs can do this. Uh, peppermint extract, lovely, delicious peppermint. You only need a few drops of this. And then for fun, I usually like to do a mix of white and green, so I got a little bit of green food coloring just cause I think it's fun, I don't know. When I was a kid, that was how how we used to do them. I I like the white and green combo. It's a nice color. It's, it's just fun. You don't need these, but you can. So there we go. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to tell what I'm doing at all. This is gonna be a weird close up of a bowl. It's fine. Historically, I don't make great baking themed content, so just don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> Pop open your icing sugar. Other brands are available. But also take a while if you want to ever sponsor me, I'm, I'm right here. High quality cooking and baking content on Amazon Extra. Thanks. You're gonna need a sieve. So I'm told, I'm told that 250 grams, which is, this is a 500 gram box, so half a box of 500 gram icing sugar will make a minimum 20 these so if you want to measure it and use roughly one egg white you only add a little bit of the egg white at a time you don't even usually need all of one um, it's just to give it the right consistency um, so you can measure it like that if you want I just kind of I tend to do it by eye and just make as many as I make which is not probably a very efficient way of working but that's how I do it so that's what we're doing <laughs> Sugar. Yum 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 yum. Tasty icing sugar. You just whack a whole bunch of that in. This is most of the baking process actually. I don't know what to call it. Because baking is obviously when you bake something. Is it just making? Am I just making peppermint greens? I guess so. I'll Google it later. Someone will tell me in the comments, it'll be fine. Can I shake this while I drink coffee? Am I gonna shake the coffee? The answer is yes, sort of. But I wouldn't recommend it. I went to the gym yesterday, just so you know. So my arms are extra weak. Um, I'm gonna blame that. I did some, I pulled some ropes, I waggled some ropes, I pulled down some, 
some some bars on some weight machines. I, I did some rowing, so my arms are a bit sore. Forgive me. At least I'm trying. I like when they make these tiny little little snowballs. Little, little cute little snowballs. You could use that for decoration if you wanted to. Probably not though. That sounds like a stupid idea. Then you get a spoon and just crunch up those big bits. Yeah, baby. Why don't I have my own BBC cooking show, honestly? Done. Big old bowl of icing sugar. Easy. What's next? Egg white. Like I say, never done this from a, uh, <laughs> never done this from a little carton before. Do I, do we shake? Ooh, there's a recipe for protein waffles here. Do we shake or is it just, yes, yeah, shake well before use, okay. And once open, use within seven days. So I'm probably gonna make, a lot. I'm probably gonna use up all the icing sugar making peppermint creams. Okay. And the key thing is, whether you're going straight from the egg, like I usually do, oh, it's got a special seal, or if you're going from a egg white carton, oh, which is super gross and weird, but kind of cool that it's a thing. Um, just a little bit, a tiny bit at a time. That's the main thing. Little tiny bit, because it's very easy to overdo it. <laughs> and then if you overdo it, then you have to add more icing. And that is one of those things that goes on forever. So there you go, just a tiny, tiny bit there. Uh, that's one of those things that goes on forever. And then suddenly you've got 20,000. Peppermint creams. Um, so I got my Pikachu whisk. I'm just gonna whisk it together, baby. That is definitely not enough. But you can always add more. You can't take it away. Um, I'm gonna pop in just a couple of tiny drops. Again, you can always taste it and add more. You can't take it away. A couple of tiny drops of peppermint extract. And I do not do the green yet. And I will tell you for why. Oh my gosh. Okay. Steady, steady. Okay, that was like four or five. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, it smells so good. Love peppermint. Dee 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 dee. More egg white, please. I think I probably did about a fifth of an egg that time. I might add a little bit. Be a little bit more generous this time. How many? This is, apparently this is 15 egg whites. So I'm definitely gonna run out of icing sugar before I run out of egg whites, that is for sure. Should really be wearing an apron for this. You know what, I think the whisk might be the wrong choice. I might move to just spoonage. Because otherwise you get all stuck in the whisk and it's a nightmare and then it's stuck in this whisky cage. Oh, Lord save us from the whiskey hell. But the bits in the whisk, where it's all actually combined and stuck together, starting to look like peppermint creams. Starting to look vaguely like the consistency of peppermint creams. It should come out as like a dough. Uh, it should be like doughy. That's the point where you're good, is when it's sort of doughy. You don't want it to be too wet. Look at me giving advice as if I actually know what I'm talking about. Could be worse. I, at least I haven't buttered any surfaces today. I'm grateful there's no butter involved, to be honest. All right, you know what, we'll put that down as a, we'll put that down as a mistakeio and we'll just carry on with the, with the spoon. <laughs> I think actually I usually use a wooden spoon for this, so I don't know why I uh, just didn't, I don't know, I was, I was not really thinking. I haven't done this in a little bit. I'm gonna say the pressure of the camera is maybe uh, affecting my performance, maybe? Terrible, this is why I don't have a baking show. I say shit like that. Smells so good, smells so nice, little bit more egg white. <laughs> Ooh, that might have been too much. So it begins. The endless cycle of adding more of one ingredient and then the other, because you can't get the proportions quite right. Yeah, that is too wet now. That is officially too wet. Shit. Here we go. I was joking, but it has happened. 
<laughs> it's so easy. It was so too dry. And it just, just like half a teaspoon too much egg white. And it's now way too wet. It'll be fun, I say. Dee -dee 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 -dee. I make the mistakes so you don't have to. Oh, it's so easy. Three ingredients. Shut up, Emma. Achoo! Then you sneeze and wash your hands. Just gives you a little relaxing break. You know, sneeze, wash your hands, walk away for a second. I think there's icing sugar in my nose and that that's what's happening. Oh my gosh. There is powder flying around in the air. Be careful of that. Right. Okay, now to turn the one wet slimy bit, this is probably way too much powder. Oh my God, I can feel it. I can feel it beginning, the cycle. Oh my gosh. I was joking around. I didn't think this would happen. Okay, this isn't too far off actually. and all those tasty scrapey bits off the side. Actually, this is fine, this might be perfect. Well, perfect is a strong word. People who know how to actually make stuff are gonna comment and be like, what are you talking about? It's completely wrong. But for me, this actually seems about right. Okay, so this is what I've got. I've got a little ball of like dough, of, like delicious icing dough. So let's just have a little taste and see if I'm gonna use my secondary spoon as my tasting spoon and we're just gonna whoa, you're so wonky I'm so sorry we're just gonna see if uh, there's enough peppermint in here um, yes perfect so now what I like to do for my fun color mix is I like to split this off in half so I've got sort of Two roughly equal lumps of dough doesn't super matter. Um, and then I want a tray, a tray or a board or something. It doesn't really matter because you're just going to leave them out. You see my board? Sort of. <laughs> How's that? That's a weird angle. Well, whatever. This is going to have to be good enough, I'm afraid. You want some ba grease proof baking paper on a tray or a board or whatever. Bang! Done. And then your first half, you just want to roll into some little pieces. These are, like I say, we're not baking these, these are just going to be left out. <laughs> This is my pilot episode for my baking show. What do you think? Think I'm gonna get it? Um, these are gonna be left out, so the shape that you make them is the shape that they will stay. They're just gonna set. They're not going to rise or change shape or anything unless something weird and bizarre happens. So you wanna kinda make them a vaguely peppermint creamy shape. Um, you can use molds and stuff. I've tried before, I find it generally peppermint creams are too kinda wet too, uh, they're, they're too wet to have much success with that. I've tried before with making them a little bit sort of firmer and I've had mixed results. They, it just, they don't really lend themselves to it. Like if you've got a really simple pattern, I've tried like frogs and stuff before and that does not work. If you've got a super simple pattern, like a little skull or something I've tried before and that's quite effective. Um, you can do them like that. And again, obviously, it's your choice and it depends who you're making them with. If you're making these with tiny children, I'd recommend doing more smaller because <laughs> they are very sugary. Um, but you can kind of make them as big or small as you want, however much you want <clears throat> in a little portion bite. I tend to sort of roll them into a ball and then squash them with my hand into the shape that I want, <laughs> which is 
you know, not very technical, and uh, they do come out quite different weird shapes and sizes, but that's life, isn't it? Nothing's, no, nothing's perfect, no one's perfect, uh, so why should, why should my peppermint creams be any different? I do find this method of, like, flattening out tends to result in quite nice sort of circles. I usually start off enormous and then get smaller, I don't know why. Are these bigger than my stomach, maybe? Well, let's see how many this makes, because allegedly, yeah, 250 grams of icing sugar makes 20. I think I've probably used, um, maybe 200? That one's quite big. But yeah, um, <laughs> they tend to vary quite wildly in size when I make them, so, um, who knows, really? This one's going to be enormous. You can make them big and thick and fat. I would say if you make them fatter and thicker, <laughs> if you make them kind of fatter and thicker, then um, they tend to be softer and creamier on the inside. Uh, with that little bit of firmness on the outside. Oh my god, that one's tiny. <laughs> I can recombine these last two into one and make one bigger one, but I'm not. I'm going to make two tiny ones instead because that's how I choose to live my life. <laughs> There we go, that's uh, the white ones. And now if we return to our, our whoa, if we return to our, our bowl, the remaining sort of dough, I'm just gonna add a couple of drops of green. And sometimes the way you mix them together, you can make like cool uh, swirly patterns in the green. And this will dye your hands if you do it like this without gloves, by the way. Um, so just to warn you, um, yeah, sometimes you can make cool swirly patterns. That has only ever happened to me by accident. Generally, I just try and make half green and half white because that's a nice easy thing to do. And I usually do this bit with my hands and make my hands all green, but I'm going to try with a spoon today in case I can save myself being a Grinch. I think blue would look nice as well. I think some nice blue peppermint creams. Blue is the kind of spearminty colour, right? At least in my in my brain. That's how it is. I might be wrong per real life, but that's how I imagine it is. Ooh. And yeah, by mixing and swirling, you often get sort of like part green, part white, and it can make really cool, neat patterns. And there's ways to do patterns intentionally, but hell if I can do them. I've not tried, and I don't think it's a good idea. Okay. That will do, because my arms are small and tired. And then I'm just getting back to uh, rolling them into little bites. And so we go back over here. My coffee is completely in the way. I'm just gonna have a sip. It's going cold. It's going cold. I'm gonna maybe take like two thirds of this one. Try and make these roughly sort of similar size, which is hard because the sizes are wildly inconsistent. I've just kind of done like a pale, pasty green, you know? Rolling, rolling, rolling my peppermint creams. What I've seen people do that I think is very neat is um, dip half. They do the white and they dip half in dark chocolate. That looks very cool um, and tasty, but I kind of just like the pure peppermint creaminess. They're just oh, they're so freaking tasty getting excited already. Prematurely, because we're going to have to leave these for like four hours, just so you're aware. <laughs> I think I've managed to do roughly even proportion of yellow and green which is an achievement I don't usually manage. Then you wash your hands before you pick up the camera. And uh, there you are. A nice disbursement of green and white peppermint creams. There's some weird shapes in there, some very unusual shapes, but like I say, nothing is ever perfect. Nobody is perfect. Why should peppermint creams be any different? Now then, we wait four to six hours, so I shall set a little timer. And uh, then then we, we try one. And if they're still too soft, then we wait a bit longer. You can just leave them overnight. It's up to you. Some people put them in the fridge. 
I don't, I don't think I've ever read that in a recipe, but who knows? D do what you want. Do what you feel is right in your heart. <laughs> That's my advice. Oh, and uh, if you do plan on licking the spoon or the bowl or whatever, be careful because it is mostly sugar. It is a lot of sugar and you can make yourself feel quite unwell if you overdo it. I've heard, hypothetically. And voila! Okay, they look exactly the same as before, but now I'm gonna put them on a plate. And we are done. To be honest, these could probably do with a tiny bit longer, like an hour or so longer, so I might just leave them out on the plate, but uh, yeah, peppermint creams. Not hard, very easy. I still went wrong and made them probably more than I would have otherwise. Um, I'm gonna eat this tiny one. Bon appetit. Well, <laughs> hope you enjoyed this weird non-baking video. Have a lovely week and I'll see you really soon. <laughs>